October 20th, 10 o'clock a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. It claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio Chew. Today, I will call on the people present in Studio 2 that, in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, it will, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. I guess that's why they call him Edgeworth. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez. I am a producer for Global Studios. I won't do the pause thing after a word because even though she is calm right now, I feel like it'll take forever. On the day of the murder, you were in this trailer to Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Mm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay! R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down. So to speak. Day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at two, 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at this van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with the monkey's head toppling over. I, I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it! Day of the Murder I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop at in the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh dear. <laughs> the meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended up cool. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Redworth. And please stop banging your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> there was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 o'clock, and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5 o'clock. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. Hold on! You had, you had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. 
Oh. Oh, r right. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. And what were you do doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Whoops. It was a 15-minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal. N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. Hey, that rhymed. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat the steak. Well, Nick? Er, well, Nick? Find anything? I kind of wish you'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said. Somewhere. So the contradiction here is we, if we head over to the last statement about T-Bone Steaks. This would be normal, except if you'll remember, in the Studio 2 trailer, or by the Studio 2 trailer, the plates didn't have any bones on them. Ha! Huh, just as I thought. You claim you ate a T-Bone steak. But I say you did not. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee room. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you that it was a T-Bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at the table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare! Miss Vasquez? Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like the incinerator. Uh, I see. Then, what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Uh, are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of a stunt are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say... you say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes? I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? You couldn't, could you? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, your honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning run through, morning action scene run through. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order. 
Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. I am the one testifying here, and I will be heard. Oof. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what the weapon was... What, tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Look at this photo! What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, order, order. If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is all this about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? What? What? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago... Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed me... She pushed Mr. H she pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer himself had done five years ago. But whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Uh, in, in other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, oh very... Creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny what that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of the argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted from lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Good Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to the Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could you have dealt with the body? She had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance... Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it, then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Call your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was so fatigued, so I had Sal. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. Use the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the magistrate costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manello that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course Sal Manella has to be uh, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Mr. Miss Vasquez would have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. 
They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They had they probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Oomph. I lose. You win. It was fun. I... win? Um... So, what happens next? Don't mm, me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. W wait, so you mean... Do you ask his? So it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did it? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order, Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, um, uh, um, uh, of course, it's just as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely that she did it. But, uh, there's new proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Erk, what do I do now? Uh, testify again, Vasquez. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? Know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. You come so far only to fail. As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Ms. Vasquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see. Very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see you that we have to anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Mm well, yes, um... I indeed, verily, I'd say. Ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmph. Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Who knows? Probably realized she did it too. But... But... Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth. And we'll have her testify again next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and have Miss Vasquez testify. I realize that we're, that I'm kind of repeating myself in these outros, but eh, who cares? Hope you guys enjoyed now. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!